Hey guys, this is Colin Moshman for CardRunners.com. Today we have live play MTTSNG with a variety of formats from 18 man, 45 man, and 180 man, as well as different buy ins from the lowest stakes being 50 cent games to a couple at 15 and 30 as well. And 12 tables up, a couple more off screen just in case we bust some. We'll have plenty of interesting spots to go through in about 40 minutes of footage talking about how to beat these games. And so normally if I was playing, I'd be playing stacked and also playing with hotkeys on. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off my hotkeys with this green button so you guys can see everything that I'm doing. And we won't just have tables disappear. No clue how I'm acting. Usually not the best way to do these videos. And particularly in the low stakes games, we're going to be playing a pretty straightforward value oriented approach. It is still sometimes possible to make some plays double barrel bluffs, light three betting, particularly against regs, but for the most part, a pretty solid, straightforward strategy, and then loosening up quite a bit at the high blinds. This pocket seven, so would shove any pair, any suit at ace, any suit at Broadway hand, about ace eight offsuit plus, as a decent amount of the time, the initial limper is gonna fold, he get loose passive stats, and when he doesn't fold, we shouldn't have such bad equity against his range, plus there's usually going to be den money in the form of the big blind, who obviously fold most of his random, two random cards. Clear stack off here with the ace-queen suited. Ace-king suited, I would stack off down to about ace-queen suited, as well as pocket nines. Ace-king off against this pretty lag-looking player in the big blind. Pocket fours is a check back. This is a very coordinated flop. I'm not going to be c-betting. Even against a single opponent, I would tend to just check back and give up there. So absolutely, we do not need to be c-betting ATC. And the King Jack offsuit, I'm actually going to min raise fold. It's right about the bottom of the Nash shoving range. We could actually shove that as well. But a few pretty passive players left to act, which is why I'm choosing to raise fold there. And open fold would be a little bit tight, but not crazy in that spot. So a lot of the time, what's going to affect our decision making when we have about a 12 blind stack post ante and both open shoving and min raising are reasonable are the types of players left to act behind us. So tighter, more passive players, we're often going to want to raise fold, particularly if we have a hand like, let's say, ace nine offsuit for 12 blinds in the cutoff. So that's going to be a Nash shove. But the other option that we have is just going to be to min raise. And if we don't think people are going to be three betting shove, three bet shoving hands that they should, for example, jack 10 suited, then we can pretty comfortably raise fold there. So ace-jack suited is going to be a three-bet shove in this bottom left 250. And a couple of folds of other hands. Getting to higher blinds, we have different blind levels at these different tables. Everything from low blinds at the 18-mans to mid and increasingly high blinds in the 180s. And in all of them, we're going to be starting off at this stage. It's going to be primarily playing for CV, playing to accumulate chips. More than that in a moment, a6 suit is a shove. I am going to shove you with any suit of Broadway, any suited ace. Not about queen jack offsuit, ace nine offsuit, which tends to be a pretty common range in these games in a lot of different spots. And fold the 10 9 and ace deuce off. Ace king suited, if we get three bad, we are going to be. Pretty happy to stack off prey with an effective stack of just under 30 blinds. And I'll make sure that all these tables are fully inside of our viewing window here. A7 off, this is going to be a call down to ATC because of pot odds. And there are a lot of very wide calls that are correct, mainly in the post anti period. Um, Pocket Kings, I'm just going to open shove. I think it may look suspicious to some of these players if I min raise a nine blind stack. So, as an example of wide calls, one sort of common calling situation is let's say the cutoff shoves a five blind stack post ante. We're in the big blind, he's a reg. In spots like that, we need to call super wide. For example, a hand like King Deuce Off is going to be a call. And the big motivation there isn't going to be having great equity against his range, it's going to be having not terrible equity combined with getting great odds. And so calls like that are super important. Ace two suited, I'm going to shove against some very passive players. I would just fold, but this guy is pretty lag stats, so I'm just gonna ISO shove there. 